Okay, let's do a few examples, and these should all be fairly easy. The integral of x dx, well remember that x is the same as x to the power of 1, so we apply the power rule, we raise the exponent by 1, that gives us x squared, and then we divide by the new exponent, so it's x squared over 2, and we put in the plus c. And you could, if you wanted to, you could write this as 1 half x squared plus c. Uh, both of these are obviously equivalent mathematically, and either one is okay. The integral of 4t squared dt, well the 4 can just come out front, so it's going to be 4 times the integral of t squared dt, and the integral of t squared is t cubed over 3. We take the exponent, increase it by 1, and divide by the new exponent, and we need a plus c. Same concept applies down here. The integral of 24 times x to the negative 0.4 dx. So the 24 will stay, and then x to the negative 0.4. While well, the exponent is negative 0.4, so we need to raise that by 1. Negative 0.4 plus 1 is 0.6. So this is going to be x to the power of 0.6 divided by the new exponent, which is 0.6. And this we should simplify. 24 over 0.6 is 40. So the answer is 40x to the 0.6 plus c. Here's a few more. These involve trig functions. The integral of cosine x is simply sine x. So we write sine x plus c. And the integral of secant squared, well, that's the tangent of x. So it's tangent x plus c. And we know this simply because we have learned the derivatives of trig functions. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared. So the antiderivative of sec secant squared is tangent x. And this should actually say secant squared x dx. Let me fix that. That's secant squared x dx. So again, the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x, so the integral of secant squared x is tangent x. And then this one too, look here, cosecant x, cotangent x. We want to integrate that. Well, we haven't studied the integral of a product like that, but this might ring a bell. You might recognize that that is equal to negative cosecant x plus c, because if you learned your derivatives of the trig functions, you know the derivative of the cosecant function is negative cosecant cotangent. So the derivative of the negative cosecant of x would be positive cosecant cotangent x. So the antiderivative of cosecant cotangent x would have to be that.